Mmm. It's like the SOM in it. Right, I'm just laying this deck out. I've got we've squared it up so it's slightly out here. But I'll run the board through and then just rip them off with track saw. Probably. 400 centers so I'm putting a post in between and he's going to dig these out about a foot deep and then we're going to fill the bottom with concrete so the post has got something solid to sit on this is all clay this here when it comes to it I've got a joist there which is in the wrong place so I'll have to just put it to one side I'll make that up as I go along I'll tear this to bits. This is just temporarily tacked together. So I'll tear this to bits now. Post holes can be dug. Right, deck building. Last time I was here, I laid the frames out, marked where the post holes were going to be, and then left in with my cement mixer to put about three or four inches of concrete in the bottom of each one. I haven't been back since. Even in this heat, it's still looking full of water. This place fills up like a quadmire. Down here. This is concrete for the foundations for this. He tried digging through it in the corner here, it was a pain. So I've got to some, find some way of supporting that. Deal with that later. I'll get these frames back on, get it all levelled up, get some posts on. You see how much the grass has grown. Right, so something like that. He's conveniently gone out, so hard work for me. Looking at the mud. Thought it'd be all toasty dry by now. But sleepers there they're going to go down that wall i'm not doing that i've got nothing to do with that they should have gone in first really anyway i'll get this packed up level i've damaged some of the joints just trying to get it off there i'll pack it all up level and start getting some posts in Uh, this is my old level, this is a new one, a good one that I keep inside stuff. This one I've dropped a few times. It's a marksman, thought it was a stabula but no mind. I'm just checking it against that, it gets dropped a few times so I'm just checking it against that. It looks right, I'll put this one away again. So I'm just levelling all this up. And the frame there for the window is it's close. So I'll level that up first, make sure that's parallel. And we'll work my way around. Stitch these corners back together again. Where screws have come loose a little bit. A little while ago when I bought this drill, I wanted a wear a bit and I was a bit apprehensive about buying it because it looked like that was going to be too short like these ones like this Milwaukee one that I cut down but Paul thank you sent me one to try I've just tried it and perfect fit thank you Paul I'll be keeping that cool really good magnets on these Right, I did level it across but this is this is slightly out. It's slightly out there look. If I set that on there, it's slightly out. But what I've got to do is get that gap parallel. 
otherwise it'll look a dog don't matter if it's out of level so from there now I'm leveling around these timbers have been kicking around a little bit there is a little bit of a bow in them they worked perfectly straight when I first got them but that goes up to this end so it continues going up so this is slightly up so what I'll do is when I put these posts in and that's just going to get packed under there slate on it or something what I'll do when I put these posts in I'll leave it a quarter of an inch short maybe so once some weight goes on it'll push it all down I think sometimes you got to sort of guess these things and once to get some weight on it'll push it into sh Right, none of the post holes are flat at the bottom. Told him to. Big fucking ridge there. And there. Uh, no, I should have done it my fucking self. So, what I do is sit the post in. I've cut to the size. Because it's hard to work out what fucking size it needs to be. Because the bo bottom of the hole is not flat. And then using a shiny pencil from Paul. Mark the bottom of that. Mark it under there. Then I cut the notch and slide it in. But if the floor's not flat, if the whole bottom, you know, if the concrete's not flat, as I slide it in, it'll go up or down and not sit flat. Cut this. So that's my mark, I've got my depth set in, I'll cut halfway through and then rip through it. So I reset it to the depth, full depth, and I've got pencil lines on here that I made with this when the camera wasn't recording. So that's on there. And I'm going to plunge cut through there. And what I do is keep my fingers underneath, not on top, not up here, you know, underneath like that, not like that. So if the blade kicks and comes up here, it's not going to get me. And if you do it and you cut your fingers off, it'll fucking come crying to me. I'll just cut that a little bit off with chisel. Now that sits in there. Because the fucking floor is not flat. So I've got that in. Surprisingly level still, so I'm gonna take it back out, get some creosote on these joints, get some on the bottom. It's wet now, so it won't really stick, but I think it's always gonna be muddy and boggy in the bottom here, so it'll either rot or it won't because it'll be hermetically sealed. I'll get some creosote on, get some bolts on. Loads of it, it's not expensive. I'll put some on the tops later when I've finished. I've got that one in. I always end up putting my hand on it or sitting on it or something. These are M10, they're galvanised. Probably rot eventually, but probably only at the same speed as the wood. No, 
washer, of course, not in the washer. And I'm going to use this, see how much umph it's got. That's why I bought it, because it's got that, that square drive on the end. I'll get one through there. Normally I'd stick some nails in it or something as well. I can't get in, so fuck knows. I'll get some more fixings in somehow. I just clamped it up level, and what I'm going to do is drill at a slight angle so the bolt's not right on the end of this timber. So it's slightly out like that. But of course, I can't get in. Uh, I might be able to get another coach bolt underneath. We'll see. What I was going to do is, I've built loads of these and I always end up putting one in the corner and then regretting it. I should put it just there and then put a hanger on there, a joist hanger. All it's doing is taking these end boards, it's not really doing anything apart from tying the deck together, but there'll be loads of joists. So it's only taking the ends of those boards there. But normally I can get in get some coach screws or something in the ends and I was going to move it in like I say but he'd already started digging holes so get okay. I put them in the corners on this one as well anyway that one's in I think it's still level near enough big sleeper on there just holding that end down what I'm going to do is put a couple of sleepers there's a few here I'm going to put a couple of sleepers on this end keep the weight on there I've already put that one in so it's parallel with the um, threshold sill what I'll do is this one now level it and see how this turns out to be level because that's not exactly level so that's level if I put that level, that should be parallel to that one. Now we're waffling. So that one's in. Get some weight on it. I'll put this one in.
I'm getting there, I'm working my way along, weighting it down as I'm going to stop things springing. And this thing's doing alright. Feels like it'll drive them in, you know, quite a long way. It's pointless though, because you just start dragging it into the wood. The other one, over there, that did fine, but this one feels like like I'm not going to destroy it. The other one, yeah, it worked fine, but I'll probably kill it eventually. I did. That's what I did with the other ones. See, it kept on going. Then it had gone further. And while I'm at it, let me point out these these clumps. I've got two of these. The spring's gone in one of them at home. The spring inside here. But I quite like them. And what I like about them is that lever on the back. When you push it, it opens up, and then you do the other one to close it, and it'll still push down, you know, just to lock quickly, but then you can open it up back up again. And it's good when you're up ladders or something, you're holding a bit of wood and you haven't set your clamp to the right distance. I like these so much that I bought two more, the only problem is, I got it wrong. These have only got your standard lever on. You need like that. That one. Well, that's it for now. The main points I've got posts in. The sleepers are just putting some weight on to keep it all in place. Tomorrow, oop, fucking hell, falling over. Tomorrow I'll get the rest of the posts in. Get some joists in, see how far I get tomorrow. I've had enough now. Right, that's it. Sunday tomorrow.